Now let's get some color involved inside of our table cells. We can color each cell like we did earlier, but what's really cool is when we start nesting things and coloring different cells. Now to help you with the colors, I actually made a little swatch, a little cheat sheet for you. So we'll go ahead and load that in and we'll use that as our sample base. A lot of times you're going to design these web pages using uh, Photoshop. So uh, with that in mind, if you go to Images and Utilities, folder called Utilities, I have something called a color chart. So we'll just drag and drop that into one of these cells here. Okay. So I'll just tuck this away here. And what we've got here is kind of a little color cheat sheet of what I wanted all the different things to look like. Well, what we're going to do is select, let's go into expanded mode again. We'll select this cell, okay, and under background, we're going to say, okay, that is the uh, main content cell here. Actually, it's going to be our background color. All right, that looks pretty good. And this is going to be our main content area. So we'll go ahead and choose this gray as the main content area. Now, you could easily just type in the values, okay? Or you can sample these little, I make these little color charts. All right. Now, let's take a look at this standard mode. It's still pretty, pretty tight. We still want a little bit of freedom here. So let's select table, the, the, the last table tag here. You can see that's the inside part. And I'm going to increase my cell padding to 10. Okay, you notice now by doing that, it shifted this edge, this margin here, from the very top corner. I'll do that again. I'll set this to 0. So it took it from that top corner and just gave it a little bit of space. So it's a little bit easier to read. There we go. I'm going to increase my cell padding, our cell space, to 4. Now, you notice this line right here? Watch what happens when this goes to 4. Now you actually see the underlying cell. Okay? So let's save this file, Control-S, and I'll preview it. This is what it looks like. You notice it's got this white border. Now, well, that's cool, I guess, but it doesn't really fit our color scheme. So what I'd like to do is change that border color to this main content outline color. How are we going to do that? Well, this is going to be a little bit of a little trick that we use. See this cell right back here? Okay, this table row. This is the one that's on the outside of this content. What we'll do is we'll change the background color of it. Now let's preview this. And you can see we have this nice clean border around our content. Just makes for a cleaner page. All right, we're getting really close. We've got a lot of stuff ironed out. The next thing we're going to do is start off by adding some of our elements, some of our graphics, or maybe another table. Um, and really start to flesh this out. Before we move on to that, let's actually change our page property here to be black as well. So it's a nice clean look. So we'll hit page properties, background color. We'll choose one of these dark colors. Apply. So now when we preview this page, you can see it's a nice clean layout. Uh, we still have our, our footer down here, so that'll be nice. And all of our elements are ready to go. All right, next we'll get into adding our header and putting that together.